guys, this is a video response to Nelson X Zalea. Um, any of you guys can use this. Um, the video requested was basically to show how to get other icons for themes if there's alternate icons. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be using Illumini as an example. Uh, now, I'm not using Illumini right now. <clears throat> But if you guys know what it looks like, you know that there's over 3,000 icons, and it's a very nice, smart-looking theme. Um, okay, so basically, you're going to open iFile. Um, after you have that open, you're going to go all the way back to the backslash by, if you're already somewhere, hitting the back button right there. And you're going to go down to Library, scroll all the way down, click on Themes and go to the Illumini theme or whatever theme that you would like to change. Go there, click on icons. Now this is going to take a little while because um, 3000 icons is going to take a lot longer to load than something like 200. Okay, um, now, uh, let me find one that has many duplicates. Uh, the App Store, I think. And this one has many duplicates. Okay, if you notice here it says App Store, which is exactly how it's spelled. This one is exactly how it's spelled on the iPhone. That's the one that is the actual icon. And I'll show you a picture of that. So that's the one. That's not the... Okay, it's hard to see in the light. That is not the default one, but that's the one that I have set for it. Um, so... If you see App Store, App Store 2, 3, Alternate, Alternate 1, Alternate 2, Frozen. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you can rename this one to like App Store 1, 2, 3, and then take another alternate one. So click on, so if you find, you, you can just click on them and look on them, or look at them to see what they look like if you like it. Um, you can do this through SSH, I'll show you how to do that too. It's a little bit easier. Um, so anyways, if you want to, say if I wanted um, App Store 3, this one right here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to, when mine's unfrozen, you're going to click on the little arrow on the side right there, as you can see the whole row of them, click on the one that you want, and then it's going to say name, App Store 3, you, okay. I just exited that out of iFile. Anyways, back where we just were, where it said the name, you're going to delete um, where it says um, App Store 3, and you're just going to make sure you rename the other one so that when you rename this one properly, you don't have conflicting icons because I don't think it will let you have two with the same names. So let me just get back to that. Illumini. Okay, so anyway, I'll just use this as an example. So you're going to take this and just hold your finger over there for a minute. Oh, there we go. And you're going to go in front of the ping. So, okay, you see that? You're going to go in front of the ping and then delete that. And for example, for the one we were doing, you're going to type in app store exactly how it is on the iPhone and then hit done and that will exactly put uh, put your icon as what you want it and you can go in and look through SSH and look at which ones that you like better better um, <clears throat> because there's a lot of really nice icons um, like th for example with this theme what I did was this right here this icon for apps is actually my apps folder in categories if you might have noticed I clicked in there earlier to go into iFile and it's got the double A with like tabs, kind of like uh, Contacts and Facebook does. That was actually a, um, what was it? It was a dictionary. Um, but it, since it has an A on it and kind of like a book, I used it for my apps folder. So I just renamed it to apps um, instead of, instead of um, dictionary. Okay, so all I had to do was rename it and it will show up like that. 
or you can make your own icons if you're skilled enough with Photoshop or whatever it is and make your own icons as well um, so to do that on your computer what you're going to need to do first is go into the theme the easiest way is to take the theme off your computer or off your phone or iPod touch and then do it this way because it loads a lot faster you're going to take click the theme and then you're going to open it you're going to go to icons okay now here I've got 3000 icons okay 2977 whatever alright say for calculator if you see there are a ton of different calculator icons alright what you're gonna do is right now this is my default one the one that just says calculator actually no that one says calculator BW this is my default icon because I changed it the one that just says calculator there it is the one that just says calculator so if I wanted the one next to it to be the calculator all I would do is take this one right click go down to rename and you're going to name it let's say calculator underscore alt six you can just name it anything um, okay the, I already have an alt six so let's just name it calculator seven 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 okay and then take the one that, that was beside it or another one we'll say um, we will say what one do I want to take let's say this one right here okay and just rename that just like you did the other one just rename it calculator that's it you have a new calculator icon now now if you're doing this on iFile and you change it and you go back to the home screen and you find it doesn't change it's because you have to respring so just go into Winterboard and then just check on check something off and then turn it off again just so that it, you'll have to respring but it won't actually change anything and just respring and your device will have the new icon um, okay guys so that's basically how you change icons and themes if there's alternate icons and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed thanks